We are Venom. Let's make a Venom milkshake with tons of alcohol. All right, so the real reason we're making this video today is because I wanted to flex my sick little Lego Venom head. It's so cool. This, I, I actually am not a huge fan of the helmet sets, but this one, perfect. Let's get you up there, buddy. Oh, in case you guys haven't noticed in the last couple of videos, we're all, do we do anything consistently on this channel? I don't make messes. I consistently stop making messes that you can see. We changed the moving shelf from this shelf to this shelf. This is now the, the shelf that has all the goodies and Easter eggs, so. It's been like that a couple episodes, but we forgot to tell you, because I don't know. All right, to create Venom and to create a, we're not making it incredibly boozy because milkshakes are a little tough. I don't like a boozy milkshake personally. We are going to grab two different flavors of vodka. Venom's a little sneaky, sneaks up on you quick. We are grabbing strawberry and vanilla vodka for starters. We are going to use a little bit of blue carousel, but not a significant amount. We're mostly using it for color. Citrus doesn't really kill any cocktail when it comes to flavor. It always enhances it in my opinion. We're obviously gonna need milk. Next up, we're gonna need two really cool garnishes. We're gonna need Twizzlers and we're gonna need Airheads. Now this is where I actually, you know, kind of changed what we were gonna do for this drink. Initially, I'm like black Twizzlers. They're gonna, you know, come out of the drink, look like it's tendrils, tentacles, whatever you wanna call them, and it's gonna be badass. So in theory, this should be a black licorice drink or should there, there should be some type of black licorice in here. I tried it, it was not good. Black licorice with our next and final ingredient, Scoops Ahoy Void Ice Cream. This is a vanilla cookie and vanilla ice cream with strawberry ribbon ice cream. This does not work with black licorice in my opinion. Sometimes black licorice and strawberry fruity flavors does work, but in my opinion, black cherry syrup fixed it and fit way better. So despite using black licorice as a garnish, we are using black cherry syrup as the second final ingredient. I guess technically, if you wanna count black food dye because we want this dark as night, um, I don't know that we need black food dye yet because we're just gonna see what this Stranger Things is all about. So let's get started on making this drink. Ahoy! I feel like Stranger Things is not fitting for Venom at all, but oh my gosh. That's crazy. Like that. I gotta try it for myself. Oh no. This is gonna die in my mouth. I already know. Well, you guys will know what videos I filmed right after Venom. It's crazy, guys. They, I'm, I make stuff with black food dye all the time. When I make a dark milkshake, it never comes out like this. A lot of you will remember my Venom's, uh, can't say the word, Venom's milk, not Venom, Deadpool's milkshake that I made, you know, the kind of scandalous name one. That was half as dark as this, and I put a lot of black food dye in it. I am guessing that they put half a bottle of black food dye to get it this dark. That's crazy. I'm just gonna dump the whole pint in here. Um, I don't see any reason not to. Um, so let's do it. I, I have a strong feeling my milkshake won't be this dark. That's why I have the black food dye, just in case. If you eat this whole pint of ice cream, not that I'm the type of person to sit down and eat a whole pint of ice cream at once. It, it truly will, like, it'll dye your insides for days. Let's start adding the booze to this uh, abomination. Two ounces of vanilla vodka. Oh, you can see the dye coming off it. I'm gonna try without adding food dye, but I just think with the milk, it's not gonna happen. But at the same time, maybe it will. Who knows how much they put in there. Next ingredient, two ounces of a strawberry vodka. Four ounces of milk. I'm using a reduced fat, 2%, but you know, use whatever you like. Use oat milk if you want. I think that's crazy when people ask me, they're like, hey, what if I don't like regular milk? Can I use almond milk or whatever? Dude, what? why do you have to ask me? What, what, what could possibly happen? I mean, I, maybe I should be flattered, but I'm not. Let's add in, finally, one ounce of black cherry syrup. And yeah, I think that's gonna be enough. Time to blend this bad boy up. We can't see inside anymore because this thing is so dark, but... Oh yeah, you got a nice, nice milkshake in there. 
All right, let's pour. <laughs> that is dark. Just about perfect, but we're not done yet. I might have added too much liquor to this. It's not as uh, like milk shaky, if you will. I'm sure it's still gonna be delicious. Let's top this with a little bit of whipped cream. Now for the garnish, Venom has no set number of tentacles. So we are going to put at least two on either side. Let's, let's go for more. Why not, right? All right, apparently I'm going five. Yeah, let's just do one more on the front, right? Oh, I almost forgot the most important part here. We gotta do our, uh, our airhead, guys. So this is for Venom's tongue. Um, we are gonna cut the front of it to be a little bit of a triangle here. I think it's kind of gross how hard I have to cut this candy, if I'm being honest, but hey. That's okay. The Venom has that like long skinny tongue. That's why I'm cutting it into, you know, I, I say that and it's not that skinny. So let's cut it down. Even more. We gotta get his tongue to stick on there. Cause this obviously looks great. This is definitely his tongue, but you kind of have to mold it so that it sits right. So you want this kind of shape. If you're looking, that'll look sick. And then this is probably the gross part. This is why this is not served at a bar. We're gonna, Give it a little lick, lick. And then it's gonna stick very nicely to this glass. Yeah, cool. So that is not the final ingredient, guys. We have one more trick. We are going to pour just a little bit of blue carousel, like a drop, and that is venom. What do you guys think? I mean, come on, get, get a close up of this bad boy. This is some of my best work. A Venom milkshake, come on, man, come on. This is beautiful. You got his tongue, you got all of his tendrils. Look at, look at, look at my shirt, guys. He's got blue on him. Don't miss me with that. He's got blue, plenty of it. Without any further arguments, let's try the boozy Venom milkshake. I did it, I did it again, what can I say? I think, I hate to say it, this is not only the coolest, okay, it is the coolest, only the coolest. It, it tastes great, it's delicious. So it's strong, I got four ounces of liquor in this and a whole pint of ice cream. So it's not only dangerous on a booze side, it's a little stronger than most drinks, but it has so much sugar in here. I think that might be why I'm so hyped up. Like I probably got a good 60 grams of sugar from those two sips and it is good. It's it's got the strawberry in there. We've got the cherry, the black cherry. It's like that deeper, richer cherry flavor. So I think that pairs really well with the strawberry that's already in there. And we have the strawberry vodka added to that. We have the vanilla that's pairing even better with the ice cream. And there was already strawberry ribbons in here. It's just delicious. And honestly, when I stuck my straw through here, I got a nice chunk of blue carousel. Mm, just a little bit of extra citrus brightness and the tongue stayed on. I, I don't think anyone on the internet could make a better Venom drink, straight up. Like, it's beautiful. It's so cool. <laughs> that, uh, well, well, we'll cut that. Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll fix it. Stay with me, buddy. The video's almost over. Get back in there. Let's wrap this up because these tentacles are not cooperating with me. This is Venom. It was amazing. If you wanted to make it non-alcoholic, guys, I would just skip the vodka and everything and you could do the same ingredients and it'd be the exact same flavor. So I just enhance it a little bit and throw on some blue carousel syrup, boom, venom at home, no booze. What an easy, amazing drink. I mean, come on guys, come on. This is Venom, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and most importantly of all, at least in my opinion, guys, please share this with someone. You gotta let them know that I'm out here making amazing drinks. Some people don't know that. So share it. And I will be forever in your debts. See you guys in the next video.